Aladdin Creations. Good morning, today I am going to present about Leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis is a parasitic disease, that is found in parts of the tropics, subtropics, and southern Europe. Leishmaniasis is caused by infection, with Leishmania parasites, which are spread by the bite of infected sand flies. There are several different forms of Leishmaniasis in people. The most common forms are cutaneous leishmaniasis and visceral leishmaniasis. What are the symptoms and signs of cutaneous leishmaniasis? Some people have a silent infection without any symptoms or signs. People who develop clinical evidence of infection have one or more sores on their skin. The sores can change in size and appearance over time. The sores may start out as papules or nodules, and may end up as ulcers. Skin ulcers may be covered by scab or crust. The sores usually are painless, but can be painful. What are the symptoms and signs of visceral leishmaniasis? Some people have a silent infection, without any symptoms or signs. People who develop clinical evidence of infection usually have fever, weight loss, enlargement of the spleen and liver, and abnormal blood tests. People may have low blood counts, including a low red blood cell count, a low white blood cell count, and a low platelet count. How common is leishmaniasis in the world? The number of new cases per year is not known with certainty. For cutaneous leishmaniasis, Estimates of the number of cases range from approximately 0.7 million to 1.2 million. For visceral leishmaniasis, estimates of the number of cases range from approximately 0.2 million to 0.4 million. How do people get infected with leishmania parasites? The main way is through the bite of infected female phlebotum and sound flies. Sand flies become infected by sucking blood from an infected animal or person. People might not realize that sand flies are present. But why? Because they do not make any noise. They are small. Their bites might not be noticed. Sand flies usually are most active in twilight, evening, and nighttime hours. Although sand flies are less active during the hottest time of the day, they may bite if they are disturbed. Some types of leishmania parasites also may be spread via contaminated needles or blood transfusions. Congenital transmission also has been reported. Who is at risk for leishmania infection? People of all ages are at risk for infection if they live or travel where leishmaniasis is found. Leishmaniasis usually is more common in rural than in urban areas, but it is found in the outskirts of some cities. The transmission risk is highest from dusk to dawn. Why? Because this is when sand flies generally are the most active. Examples of people who may have an increased risk for infection include adventure travelers, ecotarists, Peace Corps volunteers, missionaries, soldiers, ornithologists, and other people who do research outdoors at night or twilight. If I were bitten by an infected sand fly, when would leishmaniasis develop? Some people have a silent infection, without any symptoms or signs. The skin sores of cutaneous leishmaniasis usually develop within a few weeks or months of the sand fly bite. People with visceral leishmaniasis usually become sick within months of when they were bitten. What should I do, if I think I might have leishmaniasis? See your health care provider. Be sure to say, where you have traveled and to mention the possibility of leishmaniasis. How is leishmaniasis diagnosed? The first steps are to check, if you have been in a part of the world where leishmaniasis is found, 
and if you have any symptoms or signs that might be from leishmaniasis. Then healthcare provider and can get help with the laboratory testing for leishmaniasis. Tissue specimens, for example, from skin sores or from bone marrow can be examined for the parasite under a microscope, in special cultures, and in other ways. Blood tests that detect antibody to the parasite can be helpful for cases of visceral leishmaniasis. I plan to travel to an area of the world where a leishmaniasis is found. What can they do to prevent infection? No vaccines or drugs to prevent infection are available. The best way for travelers to prevent infection is to protect themselves from sand fly bites. To decrease the risk of being bitten, avoid outdoor activities, especially from dusk to dawn, when sand flies generally are the most active. When outdoors? Minimize the amount of exposed skin. To the extent that is tolerable in the climate, wear long-sleeved shirts, long pants, and socks. Also apply insect repellent to exposed skin and under the ends of sleeves and pant legs. When indoors? Stay in well-screened or air-conditioned areas. Keep in mind that sand flies are much smaller than mosquitoes and therefore can get through smaller holes. Spray living or sleeping areas with an insecticide to kill insects. If you are not sleeping in an air-conditioned area, use a bed net and tuck it under your mattress. If I have already had leishmaniasis, could I get it again? Yes. Some people have had cutaneous leishmaniasis more than once. Great. For more videos please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.